He plays with clip, pure clarity when he's playing. When he's running at that breakneck speed, the game is still clear in his eye. When other players, the normal people, it goes a bit fuzzy in them areas. His first touch, his movement, how clever the space he finds, yeah, in the little small clever pockets. Mm. He's just, he's a one-off. On the 24th of April, 2007 in Franca, Brazil, the birth of the future for Brazilian football and Chelsea FC was born. And 17 years later, that is certainly the truth. With him signing a 60 million euro deal for the London Blues, Estevão Willian certainly has an interesting future ahead of him. And in this video, I will go over his entire journey. As a young boy, he was playing in the streets of the favelas, but his club football career began in 2017 with Cruzeiro. For the next four years, Estevão will be balling out and was playing at the highest level for Brazilian youth. You can just see for yourself in the fact that this kid was extremely technically gifted, so much so he even got the nickname Messiinho, because as a young boy he played like the mix of Neymar and Messi. As a winger he was scoring a bunch of goals and had the best tricks on the pitch. This definitely made his name known locally, but his star power was noticed by the likes of Nike, the biggest sportswear company in the world, who always seemed to spot talent early on before they would really make it big. Just think of Steve Prefontaine, Michael Jordan, and Cristiano Ronaldo. All these athletes have one thing in common, that they were all repping the swoosh before they established themselves as greats in their own respective sports. So when Esteval signed his Nike deal at the age of 11, becoming the youngest ever athlete to do so, the same was assumed of him. He's a beast. This is Ronaldinho's son. If Cruzeiro doesn't take care, he'll lose easily. This newfound fame only accelerated his growth and around May of 2021, he outgrew Cruzeiro and made a transfer to one of the biggest talent factories in all of Brazil, the one and only Palmeiras. He signed what was known as a trainee contract and began playing with the youth teams in the 2022 season. Esteval, though he was new, had his impact felt almost immediately when he helped Palmeiras take home titles in the Campeonato Paulista under 15s and under 17s titles, the Copa do Brasil under 17 title and the Campeonato Brasileiro under 17 title as well, in which he would score a hat-trick in the final. A clear depiction of just how good this guy was as a player, at only 15-16 years old as well. At such a young age, the winger was one of the most prolific in the country, so it was only a matter of time until he broke into the Palmeiras first team. And before I get to the next part of the video, I please ask that you hit the subscribe button, and also follow my other socials in the description. It would really help me grow the channel and I can continue to make videos like this. Thank you. He made his debut on the 7th of December, 2023, playing against his former club Cruzeiro. The match ended in a draw which sealed the league title and Esteval got to enjoy the celebrations. But he hadn't really made his official breakthrough yet. Esteval was basically still an academy player, returning to the under-20s team for the Copinha 2024. If you don't know, this is one of the biggest under-20 tournaments in the entire country. And let's keep in mind, Esteval is only 17 years old right now, but that didn't stop him. He would prove that he was levels above this, displaying his elite level of dribbling, pace, and even accurate finishing. He was one of the most notable players in this competition, scoring four goals and assisting two in only five matches. Following this tournament, it wasn't long before he was sent back to the first team and began playing matches regularly for them. It was around that time that the manager had taken a liking to him and started giving him opportunities in some high stakes matches. For one, he started to play in the Copa Libertadores group stage against Liverpool. Not this one, this one. Not only would Paul Maris come away with a 3 1 win, Esteval would score his first goal for the club, and it wasn't a scrappy goal either, it was a pretty decent header. A player like this, as young as he may be, he was definitely something special and he would continue to prove that. Once he got that first goal, his confidence was up and he started to get into motion scoring goals almost every other game. As a player, he became a consistent force to be reckoned with and continually delivered key performances that not only won games but helped drive his team into the title race. By around the end of August, 17-year-old Esteval Willian had amassed a total of 8 goals and 7 assists in the first teams. These kind of stats had only been repeated by players such as Neymar, Ronaldinho, and Kaká, which meant little Esteval Willian was performing at the same level as these players used to be and they're known as some of the best in Brazil's history. And just like those I just mentioned, something huge would soon change for him. It has been a while since Brazil has had some really good wonder kids in their hands. The likes of Endrick and Vinicius were the most recent, but the hype given to Estevão Willian was just as equal. On August 23rd, Estevão was selected for the Brazilian national team for the first time to, to participate in the 2026 World Cup qualifiers. Estevão had only played for Brazil at the under-17 level before this and actually scored three goals for them in the U-17 World Cup. He made his debut on the 6th of September, 2024 against Ecuador at the Estadio Cute Parera. He played pretty decently and would play around four minutes the next game, so it wasn't long before he was back at Palmeiras. Since then, he has continued in some incredible form and scored three goals in the last three matches, but the latest match in particular was something special. On October 20th, 2024, Esteval scored and assisted Juventude. He broke the record for the most goal contributions for an under-17 player in the Brazilian top flight. The record was previously held by Brazil's all-time top scorer, Neymar Jr. 
who managed 16 goal involvements during the 2009 season. In an Instagram post addressing the record that he held for 15 years being broken, Neymar wrote, Congratulations Esteval for the broken record. May you continue to shine and enchant everyone with your soccer. Fly. So obviously, it is more widely known than ever that Esteval Willian is bound to play at football's top levels, sooner than you know it. There were so many top clubs interested in signing the young forward, Real Madrid, Manchester United, and even Barcelona. Even the man himself said that his greatest dream is to play for Barca, and he himself is a Barca fan. He'll be a big star of Barca, is a really ironic comment because one thing I didn't mention that was back in the June of 2024, Chelsea FC in the Premier League signed him for a total fee of 34 million, plus 23 million in potential add-ons. With other Brazilian greats like Oscar, Chego Silva, and Willian playing for that club, it made perfect sense. The one thing about this transfer, however, is the fact that since Estevão Willian is not 18 right now and won't be until April, he'll have to wait until the summer of 2025 to move and actually begin playing for the Blues in London. But what about when he starts playing? What can we expect of him on the pitch? Well, with the way that he carries himself in interviews and on the field, he is very mature for his age and his game sense and just in general, which helps him keep humble but hungry for more. As a winger, he generally likes to play on the right or float into the middle. However, he said he will play best wherever he feels that he has the most space and ability to play free. So from the poor neighborhoods of Franca, Brazil, to now the world's biggest stage and possibly playing Champions League football, fingers crossed, the career so far of Esteban William had been insane. In the span of less than five years, he became one of the world's most renowned talents, and some say that one day he will be at the same level as Lamine Yamal, or even the best in the world. Anyways, that is all I got today. I know it's a short video, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.